Yay! Okay, I'm going to do some transplanting today. Newman dogs were going to start barking like crazy. So I'm going to do some transplanting today. And essentially I'm going to take these really late started tomatoes. Check them out. Started these in rock wool just with some water. They're starting to get attacked by aphids. So they really need to be able to come outside and harden off. But I'm going to put them in dirt. Um, especially because they already got attacked by aphids. So essentially our indoor grow area seriously got infested with aphids earlier this year and once they start like kind of have to wipe everything out and so we brought most everything outside but these little babies were too little um but i need to put them in new containers which also got attacked by aphids because that's what our stuff was inside in so i'm gonna go ahead and wash this stuff down i've never had to clean these before and i am kind of a lazy gardener but I thought what I would do is take some soap, some Dawn dish soap, which might mean everything becomes non-organic when you start cleaning it with Dawn. I don't know. Anyway, I thought I'd take this bucket and fill it with water and all of these. So I have my bucket and I have water and I have a scrubbing brush, which is already dirty because the bucket was dirty, but everything's going to be outside anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rinse these out. What I'm really trying to do is like just get the grit and grime in them initially. So we'll run them through a cleaning rinse, but essentially like that was way cleaner than it was. So let me show you one that's dirty. All that. And now it looks like this. Some dead bug carcasses out of there. Last year we just sort of let some of our guys die. Actually a lot of them we let die because they just got so like overrun with aphids. sit these out to dry. I realized that I said that I was gonna record this and then I didn't. them are done already but I was transplanting these into pots and you'll notice that they're a lot taller than um, they look in the pots and as I'm sure most of you know but tomatoes will grow roots all the way up so in order to give it a good root system I bury it all the way down I like these cubes a lot so this is a soil mixture of 60% of the roots organics original and about 40% of the potting mix from Kellogg. I'm really hoping that this is enough sitting in my kitchen on the floor because my allergies are really bad and I don't want to be outside anymore. But I always make sure that I dump it inside of its like inside where all the dirt is because otherwise like you waste a lot of dirt. <laughs> most of the way full, especially for these little rock wool thingies. You just gotta put a little, make a little home for the rock wool. And keep in mind, again, you're gonna like, you want soil all the way up to the leaves, basically. So, what I'm gonna do with this little guy 
because a lot of times the roots have already grown through, I'm going to actually just like carefully pull him out. And I know I broke him, but he still has some root left. So I have high hopes for him. See, he's still got some root left. And I'll put him in the corner over here after I plant this guy. Take my name tag, which this is a Paul Robson. And I just move my name tag there. And then take this rock bowl, draw some roots. And I'm going to go ahead and take these leaves off just to be safe. And it looks like I can actually dig this deeper because he's tall. You'll notice some aphids on these. That's because everything inside got attacked by aphids. And these were obviously growing inside. Oops, it's funny. All right, so just to make the hole a little deeper, I'm just going to do that. And sometimes you may have too much soil in there and you just gotta like remove some of it, right? All right, that's good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some soil that's in here and fill in the gaps. It'll start to lean. So then I'll turn. Shake them out a little. Ah! And I did get soil on his leaves, so I'll just make sure to fill up the squirt bottle. You can kind of compact this in around him. Not too hard, it's enough to give him some stability so that he stands up really well. But you know tomatoes will stand up. So a lot of what I know from tomatoes is from reading books or watching other YouTube videos. Um, I could definitely like tell you more about tomatoes, but there are tons of videos and I'll link them up above. <laughs> So see this little guy? So I'm just gonna dig him a hole and go over there. Just kind of put my finger down there and there and then pack him in. And he may die or he may live. It's all an experiment. There he is. And he's gonna have two as well. So we're gonna And see, he comes with some roots, which is great. This one is rooting at the bottom. And we'll pinch these just to be on the safe side. I hope it's not too early to pinch these. This is the first time I'm doing it this way. We'll take this one out, move it here, and then I'm gonna knock some of this soil around him. And I'm doing this in this one because I don't have as much soil. Not filling up all the way. Oh no! Ah! I'm sure there is like a science to this. I'm no scientist. I'm just a girl trying to grow some tomatoes. Everyone will tell you not to wet your foliage, but it really will be okay, especially if you're using it to get dirt off. There they are. Got the big rainbow, the Paul Robson. Oh, I forgot this little guy again. Okay, and Brad's atomic right. So if your soil is not moist already, H2O, and spray down any of the leaves that you may have gotten soil on, and then they're gonna go back outside. My tray is kind of dirty. Because those are not the same tray. These are jumpstart trays that I got from my local hydroponics store. Only holds eight and I have nine. Other big rainbow tomatoes and some basil.
and you'll notice that I'm watering from the bottom. Um, like, yes, I did spritz these, but I really do like the bottom water them. That's how I kind of know, like, they're not getting too much water in them. Um, I don't know. We just bottom water a lot. This is a dead cucumber. I'm not willing to give up on him yet, but, I mean, he's really dead. Anyway, there's my tomato. 